Hello, and welcome to the March 2024 feature update for Open March. Um, I've been doing these updates for two months now, and um, I realize I tend to ramble about development things and coding. Um, and I understand that most of the people that are following, maybe following this or paying attention to this, uh, don't give to Dak duck quacks about what the coding process is like um, and just want to know what open march can do right now and free drill writing software when so i'm gonna split the videos into this one which is features for like two three four hopefully not more than five minutes and um, then i'm gonna do another video where i explain what has been going on on the development side and like development process and coding organiz code organization because that's honestly where like 80% of my time is, is building ways to make putting in new features easy. So when we eventually have, hopefully, a lot of developers putting in plugins and stuff, it's not you having to gut open march and change how everything is made just so you can make your school's like high school logo or something. Um, but okay, we're gonna get into it. So a few things. It's going to yell at me. Great. Um, yeah, that counts as fine. We're going to create a new one. Let's call it March Update. We're going to have a show with five tubas. Great. We're going to have four pages, and they are all going to have two counts. Awesome. So uh, right now, all of the marchers just kind of start in this top corner here. Uh, nothing special about that coordinate. It's just 100 by 100. Um, you'll notice, actually, immediately that we have these now. Uh, these are the real hashes. <coughs> oh, sorry. These are the real hashes, and these are the grid hashes. Um, at some point, I'm going to have like an about page explaining the difference, because I know most of the people watching this probably know what the difference is. Um, this is also a college field, um, and yeah, we'll have support for everything. Um, but two things. One is that uh, all the coordinates are based off of, can I shut up right now? All the coordinates are based off of this, so it says zero grid back hash, and I know that looks ugly. Um, and then if you're like here, it's not that. Eventually, you'll have some way of making it so that you can reference it off of that, um, whatever. And then same thing with the back sideline, actually. Uh, it's all referenced based on this step, just so it's like easy on the grid. So if you're like here, you're on the grid back sideline, and like the actual back sideline is that. Um, not too important right now, just a little fun fact about how that's built. OK, so we're going to put all of our tubas on back hashes, like so. And we're going to put this one like here for fun. Um, OK. This is page one. Page two, they're all back. I'm going to turn these off. They're all back where we started because uh, this is an immature piece of software. So the little band-aid to that, just to make sure you don't delete things by accident, is set all marcher coordinates to previous page. Then it does that. And now we're on page two. We go to page one. Perfect. They're there. We can do that for all of the pages that we have, three, four. And now. What we can do is we can start editing our pathways. So um, we have page two here. Let's say we want all of our tubas to move back like 12 steps. Great. These green lines that you see actually tw back 12 steps and then like that way. These green lines that you see are the lines to the next page, um, which, as you know, is, is that one. Um, whoop, that's not what I meant. There we go. So these black li green lines are to the next page, back lines are to the previous page. And so if we go back to page one, we can see that um, our tubas are going, the green line is pointing to page two. That makes sense. Um, we can play the animation. They move very fast. And then since page three is right back here, since page three is in the same spot, we don't see any lines. So uh, for page three, Let's have them move like here. Great. That was not page two. That was page three. Great. Um, so for page three, let's have them move here. And 
and then for page four, let's have them move here. Great. So we have a lot of things going on. So this is page one. Boom. This, as you can see, this is where the previous pages are. Then they go there, and then they go there. As you can see, it's like a little janky. Like, if you really look closely, there's like things that like flash. Um, and also, once you like start to have um, a lot of marchers, these lines get very confusing, which is why I have these. Um, and I'm already past five minutes, but we're going to keep going. Uh, a couple things, if you haven't seen before, we have this uh, lock X and Y movement. So you can do that. We have round to nearest whole step, which is just one. Um, you can do something like that. Uh, another thing, if you pause, if you try and stop the animation in the middle of it, it just resets to the previous page. Didn't do that last month. Great. Uh, and I think as far as new features, that's really it. Um, all the marchers are sorted now. So if I added a bunch of flutes, uh, let's add like two flutes, um, they're sorted by family. Marcher, yeah, I don't care about all these errors. Um, if I added another, let's say I add tuba number like seven, tuba number seven, boom. And then I add tuba number six, if you would add, then it would like fit in the middle there. Um, that was actually something I finished today. Very small detail, but that's kind of what all this development is, is small details and every, nothing happens automatically. Um, Everything you see from the paths needing to be here to these like keyboard shortcut things where like I can do N and M to turn off these pathways. Um, that all has to be built in manually, um, obviously. Maybe, maybe not obviously. I'm not sure. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Seven and a half minutes. Not bad thinking is there anything else this well on that uh we're gonna end the video i <laughs> hope uh check in on uh, next month if for more features and um yeah if you have any developer friends or you're a developer check out the development video which will probably be like 30 minutes long all right bye bye